In this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, virtual environment for your Python and then how to install Django framework within uh, the Python. So the high level steps are like install Python, then we will create virtual environment, then we upgrade the pip module and then finally we install the required uh, Django framework within our uh, newly created virtual environment. If you have any doubts, you can also refer to my other videos uh, already are available there in my channel and uh, just please see how to install on different operating systems like uh, Linux, Windows or Mac operating system. So now I'll show you how we will be following these uh, steps. So once I log in into my uh, server, on Linux uh, we always prefer that do not do your um, uh, application run from the root user. So what I will do here, I will now switch to a restricted user and here uh, this is the non-root user. So I will just log in into the this uh, uh, non-root user once I'm there I will see my directory structure like uh, what is the directory structure where I want to create this virtual environment and then the next step is to create the uh, virtual environment for that what we will do we will verify which Python environment we have so here you can see I have multiple Python installed on my um, server and I will definitely prefer to go with the latest one and the latest one is 3.8 here and just to make sure I used hyphen V so that confirm this is the same version. Now what we, uh, we will do is we'll use this latest version of Python that is Python 3.8 and then we'll create the virtual environment. So the command here is Python then hyphen M then V E N V and then the name of the environment. So ideally I prefer to uh, give a virtual environment a name related to my project. So I, I used to prefix here v e n v and then followed by my uh, project kind of application that i will be installing so in my case i just gave uh, the relevant name and then i press enter so it will create now a directory with v e n v underscore dev3 skt dot in because this is the virtual environment we just created so if i do ls now it will show you the directory now we will go inside uh, this virtual environment directory and then what we need to do is now we need to activate our uh, virtual environment so for that on Linux we have the command source then I will uh, go to bin activate script and then enter so you see here now the difference it has activated the virtual environment uh, which is now showing here uh, see venv underscore dev3 skt dot in so that is the virtual environment we have created the next steps now as I show you in the previous image is now first what we will do we will try to upgrade the PIP module. PIP uh, is actually a uh, installation module within your uh, Python so that help us to uh, install various modules. So what we will do is before installation we also verify here Python hyphen V. So it's showing now that this is the latest version that is 383. And now no need to give here a specific name because we already built our environment using Python 3.8.3 so that's why it's showing here. And now to uh, do the update of your PIP, we will do pip install then dash dash upgrade and then followed by the name of the module that is PIP. So it will uh, just update the pip module and you can see here it was earlier 19.2.3 and now it's 20.1.1. Uh, so once this is done, the next step is now we will install the Django that is the framework we need to uh, install here under this environment it will take some time now to install it sometimes depends on the speed of internet on your uh, system desktop or on the server so it, it will take few seconds sometimes a minute to install the Django framework once this is installed the next uh, uh, task is now to install the uh, Django project so we will use Django admin command for that and then followed by the uh, star project uh, uh, attribute and then followed by the name of the project like what what is the name of the project we want to create for Django so here I kept it uh, as dev3 skt and if you see here now it has created dev3 skt directory there now we'll go inside this directory and uh, once we just get into this directory you will see here a manage dot uh, 
py file which is actually the python script to start your server like your uh, django application server and you also see dev3 skt and other uh, duplicate directory or same directly the way we have the root directory so this is the app directory for your root directory so these two directories are similar what you can do is always you can rename your root directory which is stated in the previous step dev3 skt and next step is now to start your server so these are the files you can see within the dev3 skt also now what we will do we will try to start the server that we have just created using a django admin command and uh, we use command python here manage.py which is uh, there the startup script and then run server so once we start this you see here one error this is another common problem always uh, you know uh, experienced by many many users and i have seen their uh, many of the comments that the sqlite is still referring to a wrong version however we have the latest one installed already and why this happen is when you have multiple environment then what happened it refer to the wrong uh, sqlite version and what we need to do we need to export the libraries required libraries for your right version so like if you still see here sqlite 3 dash dash version it's showing 3.31 but it's saying here that it has found 3.7.17 so that means it's not pointing to right library so what we need to do is first let's try to see where our sqlite 3 is sitting so we use command uh, which that is showing us that the path is user local bin and then it's there is a binary sqlite 3 so that means user local is our uh, directory so user local bin and user local then there is library inside local so what we need to do we just need to export the path for this environment telling that it should refer to user local so first we export path that is referring to user local bin usr local bin and then next is ld library path we will refer that to usr local lib and then we have to also refer to the run a runtime path that again goes to user local library so once these libraries and the path is set correctly now if we start try to start our server it will definitely come up and here we go you can see here now we are able to run our server if you go to your browser and you explore this path uh, http 127 it will work and also it's complaining about the few migration modules so you can just terminate and then migrate this using python manage.py dot uh, then migrate so you see here it initialized all the admin and auth modules and now you start your server again and uh, that is it so we are now uh, successfully able to run our uh, django server within our virtual environment and if you browse it you will be seeing this nice uh, running jet that confirms django is installed successfully so that's all thank you very much and stay tuned